Hi, my name is Courtney Helen Greil, and this is my climb. So I worked with CLIMB for two years. I started in August of 2006, just after graduating, and I was in teaching company for the first year. For my second year, second season, uh, from 2006 to 2008, I was in performing company in Purple Co. Uh, upon reflection, and, and since then, I've, I've really thought about the impact that my time at CLIMB had on me. But at the time, and, and what still resonates probably most strongly was the people. The, the sense of community. It excites me and inspires me to think about how often I still connect with the friends that I made and the artists that I was working with. So it's been really exciting, just the, the bonds that were formed. And most of us weren't from Minnesota, though some were, and yet we still keep in touch and we keep in contact. And it was that community that I think sustained me while I was so far from home because I was originally from Georgia. Um, and I didn't really know anyone in the Midwest, but also sustains me to this day. In my time since CLIMB, um, I continued working as an actor for a couple of years, and I began thinking about going back and getting my master's degree, which had always been part of the plan for me. And I began thinking about what I wanted to get my master's degree in, and as I would go home for two to three months in between contracts and, and really think about what I missed most when I wasn't working for a company, when I wasn't performing, I found that I really, really missed working with young people. My time in TeachCo has been profoundly significant to me and to where I am now in that it used a lot of socially engaged drama and theater techniques to work with young people and to start conversations. And I found that I really loved that and I missed that. And I didn't have a name for it yet, except that I worked with teaching company and we used drama techniques to work with young people and to have conversations about difficult topics. And so I found a program in theater for young audiences at the University of Central Florida. And I thought, you know, this would be really great. And so I, I did that three-year program and graduated. And while I was in that program, I was introduced to Augusta Boal and Theater for Social Change and Theater for Social Justice and community-engaged drama. I did a summer abroad through New York University in Ireland, which is where I am now, to learn more about community-engaged practice. And I just really fell in love with this idea of using the art that I love so much to have really important conversations. My career trajectory actually went in a different place after I graduated with my master's. I started to, I came to Ireland for a year and worked as a freelance teaching artist. I had some family uh, emergencies that happened, which brought me back to the United States. Um, and then that's where I got the opportunity to become the director of education and engagement for a theater company in St. Augustine, Florida. And then I had the incredible opportunity to, and was hired by Marin Theater Company in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is its original Lort D uh, theater company. And I was hired to oversee their education programs, their engagement programs, but also their theater for young audiences programs. I found myself in this place as an administrator, but still able to uh, work as a director and a facilitator and a teaching artist, um, which was really, really satisfying. And it was while I was in California working that I began to, I began to get more actively engaged politically. I think I've always been quite political, but not overtly aware of it. And I began looking at what was happening and the lack of communication, the lack of empathy, the lack of politicians and our elected officials ability to work together. And I had this idea, I said, you know, what I do, you know, I work in applied drama, I work in, in community engaged practice. And what we do is we create spaces where there's greater communication, collaboration and empathy, and it allows people to work together. And we need this in within our democratic system. And I had the idea, chatted about it with some friends, several of which were like, that's a PhD dissertation. And I went, ooh, that's quite frightening. 
Um, but I was really interested. I kept reading and was still thinking about the idea, toying with the idea. Then after several pushes from um, mentors at UCF, as well as my mom, who was a huge advocate, decided to uh, try and get a PhD. And my PhD is looking at how applied drama praxis can inform and reimagine deliberative democracy uh, as a response to the crisis of democracy that we're going through, which was also a big impetus at the time to apply. My experience at CLIMB and exposure to teaching company in particular um, set me up for this. Because I don't know if I would have looked at the Theater for Young Audiences program had I not had that experience of learning that I can actually use these tools to work within a community to create conversation, not just perform on stage. I am currently in my third year of my doctoral program at Trinity College Dublin, uh, where I'm an early career researcher at the Trinity Long Room Pub. My time at CLIMB helped to open me up to the possibilities of my craft. Um, I, I started performing when I was 11. All I wanted and all I knew really was put theater in the sense of there's a script, there's a mu musical and I'm gonna get cast and I perform in it. But it was always very much that conventional form. And it was coming to climb and being in teaching company that really opened me up to the idea that this play that we have, the way that we play in rehearsals and the, the, the exercises that we do and the activities that we do have such deeper meaning and, and can serve so many other purposes as far as cracking open ideas. Uh, it's why we use it in our creative process, but what's to say that we can't use those same techniques and approaches um, in other processes to, to think about information, um, to digest information, to deconstruct ideas, and to think about them in new ways. Um, and that is absolutely, my, my first exposure to that was at Climb Theater. And I really loved it. <laughs> I think people should donate to Climb because it is an organization that exists solely to serve the community and not just the community that it's in because CLIMB has a reach of, of states. Um, you know, I, I, when I was in perf performing company, I mean, we went to North Dakota and South Dakota and just all around. It has such a huge reach and they, you know, work, we work with young people predominantly, but we also did work with communities and the organization is just filled with people who love their art and want to use the arts as a vehicle to bring communities together, to think about how um, they can make their communities stronger. And there's no other agenda. My climb has been joyous and profound. Donate to Climb Theater to help others on their climb.